I'm Hannah, and I'm going to show you how to treat an abscess. Uh, so what you're going to need for this video is tuck tape, peroxide, Luno, vet wrap, a boot, poultice pads, scissors, some dish soap, Epsom salts, a bucket and some water, a hoof pick, and scissors, and it's like water and dish soap mixed together. So in this video we're going to be using Denver. He's my horse and he's a quarter horse and he's 16 hands. So the first step you're going to want to do is pick the foot out as good as you can. So pick right up in the frog and get right deep down in. You're going to want to hook pick with the brush on it so that you can brush all the dirt away. So then you just want to brush it. And then when you go to pick it, try to pick up this way because it won't get right down in if you pick just the other way. And then brush it out. And then I just have water and dish soap in here. And you're going to want to put the foot in for about three to five minutes so that it can clean it. So, I already took his hoof out of the bucket full of soap and water. Make sure it's warm water though. And I refilled it with just regular water. So, now you're going to want to pick the horse's foot up. And this is just soap and water mixed together. And you're just going to want to spray it off. And you're going to want to get right deep in the frog. So it gets it all cleaned out before you put it in the Epsom salts. Can you hold his foot out? So now you're going to want to put some Epsom salts in the water. So just about that. And it's warm water too. And you're going to want to bring it over. And put it, his foot right in the bucket. And you're going to want to try to get 20 minutes soaked in there. but. If you can only get 15, that's good too. But 20 would be awesome. What? So next you're going to take the poultice pad and just soak it in the water for like a half, like 35 seconds maybe. And you're going to take it out and just wring the badness out of it. Like you don't want it to be dry. Like just lightly pat it. And then, you're going to take his foot out and move the bucket over and take peroxide. Pour it down in. And then you're going to put the poultice pad on and put the plastic part on the outside. So you're going to want it right up over the bulbs of the heel and right fit it down in by their shoe. And then you're going to want to take the vet wrap. And wrap it around the foot. 
And you're going to want to try to get as less wrinkles as you can in it, but it's hard to do that, so there are going to be a few wrinkles in it. And you're just going to pull it, but don't make it too tight because it will cut the circulation off in their feet. And get it right up over the back of their heel. So that nothing can get out of that. You're going to want to go back down again. And then you're just going to cut it. Yep. There you go. And then you're going to put your boot on. And then you can just set it right down. Velcro it up. And then you're going to take your tuck tape. And it's like really, really sticky. So when I cut it, I usually put like the cap of the peroxide on it. And you can hold. And just stick it to the back so it doesn't go back. Ooh. And you're gonna put it around here so that it doesn't come on velcroed. Can you get me another piece? And, you're gonna, and this one has a hole in it down here, so I'm just gonna put some tape around it. So nothing can get out. And one more piece. Oh good. And then just up like this. And then you're done. Oops. So when you do this. You might want another person handing you the stuff because you don't want to put it down and get it dirty before you wrap it. And, and that's pretty much it. Thank you.